In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, switch the camera automatically in Blender. For this, uh, I just deleted the default camera from Blender scene and uh, added to Monkey. Uh, so, first of all, we will create a camera. Now, the camera is not at the zero position. You can see from here so to bring it at the zero position we will press alt r and then alt g now the camera is at zero position so uh, now now first of all we will create an empty and then place the empty to the first uh, here where the first monkey is placed now <coughs> now we will select the camera and then in uh, I'll increase the clipping end to 200 and then go to the constraint and add a track to constraint and select the target as empty and here uh, I'll select minus Z and Y so the camera will uh, track the empty so now I will move this camera here so if, if I press 0 you can see that when the camera is following the empty so I'll make the uh, animation for 200 frame and for, for uh, I am now going to uh, insert keyframe for this empty so first of all uh, at the first frame I'll press I here and then click on location rotation scale now I'll go to frame number 80 and then move this empty to the second monkey and then press i and then add location rotation scale keyframe so now if I, uh, you can see the camera is following the mpt so this is our first camera now uh, we will uh, sorry now we will create another camera so uh, here now again for this camera press alt r and alt g to bring it to the zero position now for, for the second camera i want the second, second camera to move around the second monkey so i will create a bezier uh, circle and then scale it uh, and then move it up now I'll select the se uh, second camera and then then uh, add a constraint follow path now I'll select the target as Bezier circle and then select here uh, my uh, minus Z and Y so you can see the uh, camera is now attached to the Bezier circle now I'll I add an empty and place it here now again I'll select camera numbers 2 and then add a constraint track 2 and select the empty 001 now again here I'll select minus Z and Y so now the second camera is following tracking sorry tracking the empty 
now I'll just rotate this page here circle around here because I wanna start the animation from here so now now I'll select the bezier circle and then go to the properties and here I want the animation I want the camera to move uh, from this uh, from here to this direction and then come to its original position uh, and uh, for this I'll I wanna the animation to start at frame number 81 because our first animation is ending at frame number 80 so for second animation I want it to start at frame number 81 so I'll go to the frame number 81 and then select the Bezier circle and then uh, in the f uh, path animation I will increase the I wanna the animation to end at frame 180 so I'll type here 180 and then I'll press I to insert a keyframe here now I go to frame 180 and then enter 180 to the evaluation time and then press I to create a keyframe so now if, if you, uh, you can see the camera is moving along the pager circle but it is not moving in in this direction so I'll just rotate the bezier circle about uh, y axis y axis 180 degree so now uh, and rotate uh, along z axis a little bit uh, here now you can see that the camera is moving in the direction as we want now I'll create another camera and then press alt R and alt G to bring it to the zero position now I I will again add a track to constraint to this camera also and select the empty 001 here minus Z and Y now I will move the camera here and I will go to the frame number uh, 81 sorry 181 and then lock the camera into view and then uh, press control uh, select the camera number 3 and press control 0 to uh, look from the camera number 2 so uh, I'll just create an animation so in in the uh, frame number 181 I press I to insert a location rotation scale keyframe for the camera number 3 and then I'll go to frame number 200 and move this camera forward and press I to insert a location rotation scale keyframe again now I will uncheck the lock camera to view and now you can see that for, for 1 to 80 frame the first camera is following the first MPT and for the 181 to 180 frame second camera is following the path and also following the empty and then for frame number 181 to 200 the camera number 3 is moving towards the th uh, second monkey so I am going to bind the camera to the different uh, markers on the timeline so that it will automatically switch the camera so at the first frame I will go to the marker and then add a marker and I'll go to marker and then rename marker and rename it to camera 1 
and then I, uh, this marker is for camera one so I select the camera one and then go to view and then bind camera to marker so now the camera one is bind to the marker one so first uh, first animation finishes at frame number 80 so I'll go to frame number 81 and then add an another marker for camera number two so I, I will rename it to camera 2 now uh, now for this marker I will select the camera number 2 do and then go to view and then bind camera to marker so you can see for the 1 to 80 frame the camera number 1 is active then for frame number 81 the camera 2 is bind to the marker 2 so for third animation I will go to 181 and then add another marker add marker and then marker rename marker and rename it to camera 3 and then I'll select the camera 3 and then go to view and then bind the camera to the marker so now if I will go to the first frame and press 0 to look from the camera you can see for the one to 80 frame the camera one number one is active from 82 frame number 180 camera number two is active and from frame number 181 to 200 the camera number three is active camera so now uh, I just created a plane in uh, second layer so I, I'll move it to first layer and then yeah that's it you can click re render animation to animate it so this is how you can switch the camera in blender automatically so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching